back to my channel. So today I want to share with you the recipe I use to make dandelion coffee. So I've been wanting to make dandelion coffee for ages now. And the reason I haven't done it before is honestly because I don't trust the dandelions near to me. So when I went home and stayed with my family down in Devon, they have a big garden. I used it as an opportunity to try it out for the first time because they have a lot of dandelions growing in their lawn. And a lot of us, we just get rid of dandelions. We see them as weeds, but they are actually one of nature's most potent healing sources. Uh, so dandelions, they are full of antioxidants, they help to cleanse the liver, they help with weight loss, and they also help with water retention because they're a diuretic. They are also loaded with potassium, calcium, and the vitamin K. So before I skip to showing you how I made my dandelion coffee, I'm just going to share with you a little bit about the process, how I found the taste, etc, etc. So... I'm just going to be honest that I'm not sure if I would make dandelion coffee again. Certainly not at the time of year that I made it. Apparently, if you start later in the year, then the roots are bigger. But what I will say is that I almost wiped out my parents' dandelion supply to make two small cups of coffee. So that's the reason why I probably wouldn't make it again, because... I just wouldn't be able to keep up with the amount of dandelions that were needed unless I was really actively farming them. I was not expecting to need so many roots to make a small amount of the coffee. However, the taste was really nice. It's probably the closest non-coffee substance I've ever tasted that's actually like, you know, that's the most like coffee. Uh, so it was tasty. It had a similar coffee-ish uh, taste and it was healthy. So... I would buy dandelion coffee and I would make dandelion coffee. I just don't know if I personally would go through this entire process of making it again because I just don't think I'd be able to keep up with the amount of dandelions that would be needed to make it. So that's my honest summary of dandelion coffee. So let's go make it. So I actually didn't think about filming this until after I'd already collected the dandelions. They were really hard to dig up and I probably didn't have the right tools. I know a screwdriver can be helpful. I just used a trowel and it was very difficult. Um, here I am cleaning them off with the hose just to get the main bits of, water, of soil off them. So I then took my dandelions and I cut the roots off from the greens. Now you can actually eat dandelion leaves and flowers. You can eat all parts of the dandelion, but I didn't think these, as long as they've not had weed killer on, by the way, just check that first. Uh, these hadn't, but the green parts didn't look great. It's gone past spring now. So I just went with the root on this one. As you can see, trying to cut these with one hand while I'm filming was literally impossible. <laughs> So here are all my roots ready to go. I gave them another good wash inside just to get as many particles of soil off as possible. I then cut the dandelion roots into very thin slices and I put them in the dehydrator to dry out. So you can put them straight in the oven, but they're a lot quicker if you dehydrate them first. So you can just choose whether you put them in the oven for longer or you dry them out first. So I put them in the dehydrator for probably around two hours, I think it was. And then I pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. After that, I put them in a pan with two cups of water. You can add or remove water as needed to change the strength. And just keep it simmering till it's the strength that you're happy with. Then strain into cups. And this was all I got from all those dandelion roots, which is why I would probably just buy the dried root in future. But if you've got lots of time and lots of dandelions, then do try this.